Los Alamos, New Mexico, 2021. The world is at war with an enemy that can't be seen, a war that has two fronts. There's the war against COVID-19, which we are winning, but also there is the war against boredom, apathy, disillusionment, and stagnation, a war that we have only begun to fight, and a fight we must win for future generations. The board games and movies may all be played out at this juncture, but Los Alamos will come through as they always have in the past because a concert series is near. The people of Los Alamos and Northern New Mexico have been here before. We have been dancing our way to victory since our founding in 1944. This year, to ensure that we are successful in our fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, the Los Alamos Summer Concert Series has decided to go virtual. Our online shows featuring several Grammy-winning and nominated artists from across all genres will bring the whole family together. You may ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word. It is victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terror. Victory, however long and hard the road may be. For without victory, there will be no more huge parties with all of our friends at Ashley Pond. So the greatest free concert series in the state of New Mexico, the Los Alamos Summer Concert Series, guarantees a victory against boredom. To the people that have helped in this fight by tuning in, you are the true American heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, your hosts, Amadeo Orlando and April Kidwell. Well, the jig is up. We are in Ashley Pond Park, and while you're watching the series in the summer, it's actually freezing in Rocky Mountain Spring here, so ta-da! <laughs> Welcome to the 2021 Los Alamos Summer Concert Series shot in the spring. This is the fifth virtual concert of the 2021 series, and we are so glad you are joining us tonight for a show featuring Lily Hyatt from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm your host, April Kidwell. And I'm your host, Amadeo Orlando. Over the next two virtual concerts, we will be bringing you incredible artists headlining for the virtual portion of this year's hybrid series. We are planning to start live shows this July. More information is available at Los Alamos Summer Concert Series .com. Tonight's artist is Lily Hyatt. Lily Hyatt's alternative country music has been raved in reviews by Rolling Stone, NPR, and The Independent. Her 2017 album, Trinity Lane, earned her performance dates with John Prine, Margot Price, Drive-By Truckers, and His Golden Messenger. In 2018, Lily was nominated for Emerging Artist of the Year of the Americana Music Honors and Awards. Lily was born in California, raised in Nashville, Tennessee, and earned a college degree from the University of Colorado. She's like the alt-country version of all my favorite singer-songwriters like PJ Harvey and Liz Fair and Joni Mitchell and Jenny Lewis. And she's just like oh, real and raw and I love her sound and she's totally my cup of tea. She's totally my cup of joe. She's my cup of monte and she's my cup of noodles. I totally don't know who any of those people are, but she's definitely the real deal. As always, these concerts would not be possible without the helpful contributions of our sponsors. Tonight we thank Los Alamos Main Street, Century Bank, and our series presenter, Toyota of Santa Fe. I hope you guys are warm over there because we're definitely not. Coming to us from Nashville, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it's Lily Hyatt. You're not going to get all crazy after the show again, are you? Maybe. Hey, y'all. My name is Lily Hyatt and I'm here at my home in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm so grateful to be part of the Los Alamos Summer Concert Series. And I'm going to play you some songs. This one's called Ray.
out there. I can feel you. Um, it's cool doing this. It's a little different, um, you know, with recording, but I've learned some things and uh, it's a real chance to kind of just dig into some tunes and talk about them a little bit. So if you're down, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so I live in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I live in a really, really cool part of it. And uh, I'm inspired constantly by my neighborhood. And uh, so yeah, I wrote this song for my neighborhood. Like a board song. to play you. I wrote sitting right here and uh, I'm gonna have to tune a little bit. You know how it goes. Um, it's like we're at a show together um, and I don't have a guitar tech so you know. um, anyhow I'm rambling as I try to tune and be charming. Uh, So, this next song I wrote it the day after we lost David Bowie. And it's called The Night David Bowie Died. And I wrote it right here. Believe me, baby. 
the cheering. Because <laughs> I need it. Um, Y'all bear with me, you know. It's humid. It's a humid day in Tennessee. So the guitar tends to go a little... on these sorts of days. It's going to be worth it to tune it up so that it sounds good. This song's called Some Kind of Drug. doing well out there and uh, taking care and listening to a lot of good music. I, uh, I would like to play you a song that is that I just wrote. My cat's going to make some appearances, uh, I believe. So just She's about to jump up there onto my little... I tried to set a scene back there, and uh, there she is. There's Poppy. <laughs> she's, uh, 
She's my muse. Um, but yeah, I want to play you a song. It's, it's, a, it's a song I just wrote. And, uh, you know, since all, all this pandemic has started, uh, it's changed a lot. And I've tried to find joy in simple places. And, uh, and I have. And so um, I thought a lot about that. And then I wrote this song. My dad turned on the speakers. It was my brother's birthday. I hugged my mom and said,
now I'll come get this right.
played some of these tunes in a while, and I'm going to be frank with you. I definitely did some improv improvisational chord changes in that one. <laughs> but, you know, we're chugging along, and I figure, why not? It's fun. Um, I hope everybody's still feeling good out there. I'm having a lot of fun. It's great to play, and uh, I love this. I love doing this so much. Nothing brings me more joy than sitting with a guitar and playing songs and, and uh, for people to hear them. <laughs> yeah, it feels great. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm just kind of winging it with my set list. And it's fun that way. Uh, so I put out a record. Uh, out a record March 27th of 2020 so right as everything was getting tough so most of the songs from it I've played this way I haven't been able to really perform it live but it's been a really cool way to get to know the songs and I'm, I'm glad to share the songs with y'all but this uh, is the title track it's called Walking It's 
it's um uh, it's great i wrote this song a couple winters ago i'm trying to pick myself up thinking about people i love it's called brightest star My hair keeps getting in my face and, you know, I just got to move it out of there. <laughs> um, it's, uh, you can't hide on the video. We're just, we're right here, you know. Up, close, and personal. to share uh, with a family member and uh, we talk about music a lot and a lot of other things too um, I have a really great family and they're they're throughout my songs and yeah they mean a lot to me but I'll uh, I'll just say this that this song I wrote is a thank you to my dad um, and it's called imposter
Took a lot of time to stop 
fun to try stuff, you know, and uh, yeah, I've had a blast. I, I hope everybody is enjoying themselves. And uh, again, my name is Lily Hyatt. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, actually from Nashville, and I live there now. It's a great city, music city, and I'm so happy to be playing for y'all. And uh, you're uh, rocking your tunes and uh, this is my little uh, this is my love song to, to music I'm 32 I feel 23 
Thank you again. See you soon. Yo, April, are you good? <laughs> I watched the exact same show you did, and I didn't have nearly as creepy and crazy of a reaction. Also, what'd you do to this poor cat? I painted her. You painted it? Yes. Looks like you dipped it in oil. She looks like Poppy. Okay, so that's that's why you added the cat? Yes. Also, I bet you did not know that in quarantine, I wrote a song on cats. Really? Yes. But the third verse got away, and I'll never do it again. So you actually wrote the song on cats? On cats. Okay, good one, April. Thank you. Los Alamos County Community Services Department, also known as CSD, is a central hub for your discovery of all recreation, education, social, and cultural programs and services in the Los Alamos County, including the Summer Concert Series. Stay up to date with what's happening in Los Alamos through their Facebook and Instagram pages. Facebook at Los Alamos Community Services, Instagram at LACCSD. Okay, so I see you're doing better. I am, thank you. What's up with that cat? She's got COVID. Yeah, I was wondering. She'll be fine. She just needs to get vaccinated. Next week's headliner features Tuscaloosa, Alabama's finest jam band, CBDB. Their sounds blend rock, funk, and jam into what they call joy funk. Sounds nasty. Get ready for a feel-good time. Sounds like a plan, April. Okay, it's snowing now here in spring in your summer, so thanks for joining us this evening and we'll see you next week for CBDB. And all of this was made possible by SMSI, Long Necker and Associates, Merrick and Edgewater. And brought to you by Los Alamos County, Sancre Productions, and our series presenter, Toyota of Santa Fe. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the show. An esteemed leader and great fan of the concert series and the people of Los Alamos has decided to offer us some final words of encouragement to help us through these difficult times. Play the tape. We shall dance. We shall dance as we have done before in times of peace and in times of war. We shall dance in our places of work. We shall dance in our homes. We shall dance in the streets and dance in the schools. And one day soon, we shall dance together. Thank you, San Cree Productions of Los Alamos County and Toyota of Santa Fe. Thank you, kind sir. Your words are true and to the point, and for that, we thank you. The 2021 Los Alamos Summer Concert Series is back next week. Check out our website at www.losalamossummerconcertseries.com. Until next time, my fine countrymen and women, please remember to work hard and play hard, and victory will be ours. A little bit country, a little bit rock and roll, and maybe some opera thrown in. Whatever your style is, Artifact Consignment Boutique offers an upscale, eclectic selection of clothing and accessories to match your mood. Visit us at 930 Baca Street in Santa Fe or online at www.artifactsantafe.com.